What's happening to the nation? Welcome back to my black universe. It's your boy Big Big. You know what I'm saying? Looking, looking constantly. Oh, what, what is this? So, affordable timepiece alert. And towels on your ass. So, this is the Osiris by Apollo's Palace. Um, I'll put the link in the description and the price. It's probably around 50 bucks right now. I think it's still on sale. So, when I purchased it, I was like, you know what? Let me support. Because I need a timepiece, and this is very, very affordable. It's got the clasp right here, and it's adjustable. Now, it's pretty straight, you know what I'm saying? Um, I like the fact that when you ship it, it has plastic covering on the bands uh, that's already pre installed. The metal one's already pre installed, it does come with a genuine leather band. Uh, the clasp and all that is covered. The bottom of the, the timepiece is covered. You also have a plastic spacer in between the little dial. You accidentally get you know turned on, just you know running out of battery. So that's pretty dope. So you know what I'm saying, mad support. You know what I'm saying, go check them out. Nice little time piece. And let me show you the leather portion. That we might actually might try to put it on and then stick it on the hand and show you what it looks like. Okay, so here's the box that it comes in. Has a little pull tab. I'm doing this one hand. When you get the time pieces, it actually isn't secured under here. And here is the extra bands. I was gonna put them in, but actually I like this metal look. Feeling kind of lazy, don't want to change that. But this is how it comes, man. It's shipped, and this is covering this outer covering right here. It's in a bag. When it's shipped, just keep protected. I'll stick that back in later. But yeah, man, I'm digging this. I got a little dirty. Let me show you the underpinnings of the watch. See the class branding right there. This part comes up, pops up, should I say? And you can see you can adjust it. Make it a little bit tight on mine. Just a little bit, not too tight though. Comes down, bam. And it doesn't uh pop open easily, which is dope. And here is the back. Still, still back, waterproof. Cyrus. So yeah. So we're going to wear this as often as we can because where I work at, I, I do a lot of manual labor and uh, it'll mess this thing up fast. So when I go out, you know, we're going we're gonna to start on a little bit and uh, get our shine on with that. So yeah. All right, so part two of this video, that is right here, is Lavish Blanc. Let me turn the head around. So we have the Buddha, the wrist beads, pretty dope, solid quality. None of this is, uh, I've had this for about three weeks now. Nothing's chipped off, nothing's starting to fade or anything like that. Only work a couple times now. The only thing I don't like about it is this little tab right here. As a man, not a good look. <laughs> so eventually I'll probably take that off. I don't like that hanging like that. As you can see, yeah, I don't, I don't like the hanging. But this is not the only one I got from last month. Let me go grab the other beads and show you. All right, so back in. And I'll put the link in the description for these as well. So I think it's a leopard or cougar. But yeah, same thing. Don't like that on the bottom. One thing I like, actually, you know, this is a dope color. I like the way this looks. I'll put them on side by side so you can see the comparison. There we are. And I'm going to show them off the arm side by side as well. All right, so here you are. See, you can see some of the detail. Turn this around so you can see the, the head. Face of a boot. I'm not a Buddhist. It's just one of the designs I like. So yeah, man, I'm digging it. It's uh, pretty dope. They're not overly expensive. Once again, I'll put the links in the description. Also, the price that come with them. So yeah, support. Peace and blessings. I'll show you.